stage three of this year's Tour of Britain, the northernmost point of this year's race. Travelling from Jedburgh, heading south through the Scottish borders to a finishing loop in the Dumfries and Galloway countryside. On this stage last year, I faced a brutal headwind, which meant the stage took almost an hour more than we might have expected under normal conditions. Headwind like that makes things particularly difficult for the riders in the breakaway and also the riders holding in front of the peloton. Although, interestingly, if you're sat sheltered in the middle of that bunch, it can actually make for an easier day. A strong headwind is brutal, sapping the energy of the riders. And sitting in the slipstream of just one rider will save you around about 30% of your energy. So you can imagine just how much benefit there is to riding in the middle of the bunch. The IG Markets Gold Jersey is awarded each day to the rider with the lowest cumulative time. This takes into account not only the rider's time as they cross the finish line, but also any bonuses that they picked up either at the intermediate sprint or across the finish line. These intermediate sprints also carry points for the first five riders across the line, which count towards the overall points classification, the leader of which wears the black and blue jersey. There are four leaders' jerseys up for grabs at the Tour of Britain, the most important of which is the IG Markets Gold jersey awarded to the leader on the general classification. There's also a Chain Reaction Cycles Points jersey, the Skoda King of the Mountains jersey, and a Yodel Intermediate Sprints jersey. Here in the third intermediate sprint of the stage, the first rider across the line will pick up five points and three bonus seconds. The second rider, three points and two bonus seconds. The third rider, two points and one bonus second, whilst the fourth rider across the line will pick up just a single point. Last year, this was the first stage of the race. At this particular sprint, it was the Dutch rider Lars Boehm who burst out the peloton, picking up the remaining one second on offer and strongly signalling his intentions in a race that he went on to win overall just a week later. We could well see a bunch sprint here at the finish in Dumfries, in which case the likes of Mark Cavendish will come to the fore. Last year he stood on the podium in Paris at the end of the Tour de France having won the Green Points jersey, proving himself not only to be the fastest sprinter in the world, but also the most consistent. 